all right students so welcome to the most important clause of sequel right one of the most important at least i can say that right group by clause what happens is a lot of aggregation clauses are there a lot of you know commands are there which can aggregate data group by is something which is very very commonly used across right and uh, what group by does is majorly it groups the entire data for example imagine there is a data and i think at the start of the series we have seen a data of creating a database of your own wardrobe right in which there are certain columns and there was one column called as either bought or gifted right if you recall that now uh, if i want to understand how many of the clothes are bought and how many of them are gifted i need to group them up this is where group by comes into picture so what group by does is that it groups the data together for example let's say these are all the data points having a certain common attribute that is these are all the clothes which are gifted to me now what group by does is it groups them up in one particular row and it's going to give you a count of or average of or anything else of how many clothes are actually being bought or gifted so without wasting any time let me start with the syntax first and then we'll see how it is done in sql the syntax as usual is simple we select the column names and from the table name column names from the table name and then among the column names which are given in fact it's not necessary that we take it in group by we take one of the column names which are specified over here then we move on to the next part which is our group by clause we input the group by clause and then we input the column name based on which we want to group the entire data right for example let's say i have to group by customer id so i'll go for select customer id and product id let's say i'm selecting only two columns over here from the table name let's say the table name is customers now group by customer id is going to group the entire data by every customer so a customer might have purchased a certain item multiple number of times the moment i move to group by it's going to group for every customer it's going to give me details of every customer for example i want to see how many transaction has this customer done in the past 10 days or past 10 years let's say i can do that by using the group by function in which i can just group the entire data using the customer let's see how is it done in sql all right so i have decided to use the orders database over here so i'll just use order right database and then if i execute this there is an error over here because there is no database called as order it's orders right so please be mindful of these kind of things now if i run this now i can use this particular database now let me try and study this database a bit it has a lot of tables it has address which has certain columns like in fact why don't i just expand over here okay i'm not getting the option here but no worries cool so i think address is fine we don't need to do this carton would talk about the dimensions of the carton length width and height so obviously this is also not a very good uh, database but yes online customer seems to be interesting now if i move on to this thing uh, okay but i'm not able to see a lot of data in which i can you know merge it up for example in online customers if i look at it for example if i just let's say use this one and say that select star from online underscore customers right and if i close this it's going to fetch me the entire data it should have it says it doesn't exist online customer there is no customers this is twice i've done the spelling error over here no worries now there are certain address ids customer creation date then we have something called as username customer gender now let's say i want to find out how many males are there and how many females are there now this is where it will become interesting so let's see select customer customer first name is there a customer first name yes there is a customer first name f name customer first name and i want uh, to display the customer gender as well underscore gender now please be mindful this is something there's something interesting that we're going to do over here right and now i'm saying just say from online underscore customer i close this i run this i get the data so i'm getting the data of every first name first name and the gender over here now if i try if i might try grouping this group by customer underscore gender right now if i do this it is basically grouping the entire data into either customer name in fact what i'll do is i'll take the customer gender over here i'll take the customer gender ahead of the customer first name right and put a comma over here and remove the comma and i run this so female and jennifer male jackson now what is happening over here it has grouped the data for sure but it is giving you the first element of female for example if i remove this and run this clause right as you can see the first female was jennifer 
and the first meal was Jackson. So it is just reflecting F and M over here. So it grouped the entire data in F, grouped the entire data in M, but it's not giving me any information right now because it's just showing you the first element first occurrence of f and first occurrence of m in the table in the order now if i want something fruitful over here what i need to do is to use the aggregate function over here that is count customer name now i'm being smart here now i'm saying that okay don't give me the name of the first female customer or name of the first male customer give me the count of the customer full name now it makes sense now i can say that okay the number of females are 24 and the number of males are 18 over here now we can give an alias as well over here saying that total customers right now once i do this i can say that the gender there are 24 females and there are 28 males over here okay let's take another example let's take an example in order header okay this also seems to be interesting because there seems to be payment order status order id let me go for something like this that uh, select order underscore id customer underscore id and the third one is let's say order underscore status right from order header underscore header right colon and then we are getting order id customer id and order status now i want to understand how many of the orders were shipped how what percentage of the orders were shipped what percentage of orders are in process and if there's any other header over here so what i'll do is i'll do group by group by order status now please be mindful just keep on looking at the data over here now if i run this it's going to give me the same problem it is giving me the first element or the first row of the ship it is giving me the first row of the process in process it is giving the first row of cancelled right it's just giving me the first row if you can just look into it right i can see that ship the first row is 1001 now that is if i use group by and do this i think ship the first row is 1001 the customer id is one isn't it so similarly in process the first row was 1005 and 5 now if i run this without any again it's giving me 1005 and 5 so it definitely is grouped the data but it's not giving me any grouped level information it's not giving me any aggregate level information right now and that is where the problem lies this is where what we need to do is we need to be smart enough to understand that what exact why are we grouping the data we need to understand why are we grouping the data and what do we want to know by grouping the data here i want to know that what how many order status existed for all these three different kind of order status so what i need to do is to perhaps do a count order id over here right and then i'll go for order status from order header and group by order status right so i'll probably take the order status over here now i'm making sense to this data analysis over here because now i want to understand how many of the order id are there in each and every category now i can make sense because i know that of all the 53 plus 12 65 plus 5 70 orders five were cancelled 12 are in process and 53 are already shipped now i can give an alias over here to this particular as well that number of orders now this is how 53 orders are shipped 12 orders are in process and five are cancelled so once you apply group by you need to be mindful of why are you grouping why are you aggregating the data what is it that you want to see this is where you need to do instead of just mindlessly using this particular uh, clause because it is there it's an interesting clause you need to be very clear about what you exactly need to do with this particular clause let's take one more example and then we can perhaps move on to the next part of group by which is having okay so let me take again okay order items i think this is already open so i'll just go for this one so i'll go for a select order underscore id i'll also go for in fact i'll go for everything no? why i mean there are only three columns over here so select star from order underscore items okay now if i run this i'll get the entire now i want to understand how many quantity have i sold for every product so i probably don't require the order id so what i'll do is i'll just go for product underscore id and then we need product underscore quantity from order items okay so now i'm having product id and product quantity now i want an aggregation of how much quantity have i sold for every product id over here let's see can we do this of course we can do this we can just group by group by product 
underscore id but this again will just give me the first element of every product id for example 205 it's going to give me 3 201 it's going to go by 1 and so on like this so 2053 2011 i haven't done anything yet right now what i'll do is i'll do something like this sum of product quantity as total let me make it like this total underscore quantity right now once i run this i'll get the total quantity sold for every product id i can make sense that's whatever product id 235 is is selling the highest right now in fact there were other quantities who are selling more than that so right so all this kind of analysis can be done basically group by is pivoting your data guys it's pivoting your data if you have used excel right so that's the entire point of using group by right so please ensure that once you use group by you are very mindful of why are you aggregating the data and once you have the answer you'll be able to write the codes automatically and you will write them correctly okay let's move to the next part